HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hey everybody, this is Redline01 from HookahPro.com. Today's review is going to be a hookah pipe review. It's going to be the 29-inch Khalil Mamoon Chiop sold by hookah-shisha.com. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the hookah, and then I'm going to get it up, get it set up, smoke a bit, and give you my thoughts. It does come with a big Egyptian bowl. I don't use it because I prefer using Vortexes because I just can't get these to smoke well. Together with, this, with it on the entire thing, Plain silver like most Egyptians with a few gold accents. And then it comes with a gold glitter vase, which is um, a goldish paint, and then it's got like gold craft glitter on it. Ashtray comes off, stamped. Now I've got a Heba diffuser put on mine. It does have the bulb. You do have to cut the Heba diffuser. And I think this is a large to get it to fit on the downstem. Wide bore adapter. Purge has six holes in it. Um, it does work. I'll be showing that to you all in my review. Um, not too much to say other than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my kitchen, get my coal set, get my bowl packed. And when we come back, we'll see how well it's going. All right, everybody. I'm back. Um, Base is just filled with plain of ice water. Um, got a vortex bowl with hookah hookah root beer, and my usual setup is three, two to three coconars. I've got three going right now. Um, I've used this setup a couple times. I get about, depending on how heavily I'm pulling, hour to an hour and a half on the coals, and that's usually enough time to use up all of the hookah hookah. I've used tonic before. That I can usually go through two sets of coals before it starts getting bad. Um, for this um, demonstration, the the hookah comes with a cobra hose. I don't care for them. I have a green no more put in it now. And I do have one downside to this is I've had two vases for this. The first one was damaged, but I still set up before I noticed. The vase is not completely flat. I have a dish towel sitting under part of it to help deal with condensation, but it also stabilizes it out. Um, the stem fits very well into the vase, no wobble, nothing like that. Um, it's been going now for about 10, 15 minutes, so show you all some clouds, show you all the purge, and get any closing thoughts in. So, I mean, the clouds are awesome. The pull, there's a little resistance, but it's nothing no, nothing that gets in the way. Um, I'd like to think it's an improvement over the Egyptian I have here, too. Um, that one, I want to say, is in the more, about 25. I'll be comparing that one with a friend of this one on uh, my next review. Um, get another couple clouds, then I'll show you all the purge on it. I guess it's a good time to show you the... Actually, that was actually pretty cool. Um, I'm a, now, Sim, put the heavy diffuser on it. It's got a pretty good amount of smoke in it, so... There's now no smoke at all in the vase. Once again, there's no smoke. 
Um, closing thoughts, other than the vase being unstable, um, and even then it's not even that bad, even without the dish towel under it. If you bump it, it wobbles a little. But it's not very offsetting. I don't know how they smoke with the Egyptians. There's some, But then again, that comes down to your personal smoking preference. I just like the Vortex. I have best results with using all of my shisha. So, all in all, it's not as, it's not as fancy. It looks more like a uh, plain Egyptian than one of the more decorative KNs. But it works pretty good. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to smoke some hookah. I'm going to do some homework. And I will see you all next time with my comparison of the KM Cheops against a, I want to say it's a Scarab, I don't know, I'll tell you all next time I do that review.